Today I'd like to talk about homemade insecticidal soap. This is something that really irritates me. All over the internet, people are telling gardeners how to make homemade insecticidal soap. Well, I have news for you. There is no such thing. None of those recipes make homemade insecticidal soap. In fact, you can't even make it at home unless you had a bit of a lab and a bunch of chemicals. In this video, I'm going to get to the bottom of this topic. And I'm going to explain the difference between detergents, soaps, and insecticidal soaps. Because if you use the wrong one, you're going to harm your plants. And I know quite a few of you are already doing that. Now there's going to be a follow-up video to this one. And in that one, I'm going to show you how to get some inexpensive insecticidal soap. Now let's first understand what's really going on here. Most of the recipes I see use something like this, and for some reason they all pick on Dawn. I'm using this just as a prop. I'm not picking on Dawn here. All of these dish detergents are pretty much the same thing. I just happen to have this one. And you'll notice that it's green. If you think that's better for plants rather than the blue one, it's not. They're all the same. And there's very little difference between manufacturers. So why do people want to make homemade insecticidal soap in the first place? Well, for some reason, people have this notion that if they make it themselves from the kitchen, it's safe. It, it isn't. Just because you use kitchen things doesn't make the product good for your plants. Another reason, and this one is a valid one, and that is that when you go out and buy insecticidal soap, it's pretty expensive. I mean, a liter costs you somewhere between five and eight dollars, and you can use that up pretty quick, particularly if you have a large collection of plants or if you're outside. So I see the logic of using something like this because of the price. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get your insecticidal soap really inexpensive. Now, if you take this and dilute it down and spray your plants, you will kill bugs. You know, you'll kill the aphids, you'll kill the mealy bugs. So it does work. And that's another reason why people use it. But there's a problem with that. What you don't see is the harm you're causing your plants. And because you can't see that harm in most cases, you just think it's not harming the plants. And that's not the case. The last reason people do this is because lots of people tell you that this is natural. Just because it comes from the kitchen, it's not natural. We're going to have a look at the chemicals in here in a second. So what is dish soap? I mean, we tend to call this dish soap, but it's not. It's not even soap. And when I have a look at the label here, it does say hand soap, but then down here in small print, it says dishwashing liquid detergent. There's a big difference between detergent and soap. This is not soap. This is a detergent. A detergent is something that we make up using a bunch of different chemicals. And here's a list of the things in a product like this. Do you want to add all these chemicals to your plants? I don't want to scare you. None of these chemicals are harmful. And if you use them to clean your dishes, they're perfectly fine. But that doesn't mean they're good for plants. So what is soap? Well, soap is a product that's made from fats and oil. And those are natural products. But then we add to that sodium hydroxide. And that turns those soaps and oils into what we call soap. You do have soap in the house. So most bar soap, the thing you take a shower with, that is real soap. It's not a detergent. The other place you find real soap is in those little dispensers. So that liquid soap is also real soap. But these other things, these are all detergents. They're just like the stuff you do your laundry with. So what is insecticidal soap? Well, it is a real soap and it is made from fats and oils. However, we don't use sodium hydroxide for that. We use potassium hydroxide and that makes a world of difference. Sodium and potassium are very similar chemically, but there's a big difference for plants. Potassium is a nutrient that plants need. Sodium plants also need, but in very small amounts. And sodium is very toxic to plants. We have three things. We have detergent, we have household soaps, and we have insecticidal soaps. Neither detergents nor soaps should be used on plants. So how harmful are these to plants? Well, if I put them in order, detergents are the most harmful. The real soaps are less harmful, but they can still harm plants. And the least harmful is the insecticidal soaps. Now notice that I said least harmful. They're not perfectly safe either. Insecticidal soaps can harm certain types of plants. 
but the harm they do is much less than the other two options. When we look at the harm they cause the plants, there's a number of different categories for these. The first one is toxicity. How toxic is the material for the plants? Detergents have all kinds of chemicals in them that are toxic to plants. The real soaps in the house have sodium in it, and we know that is toxic. So the insecticidal soaps are the least toxic. All three of these products are in a category chemical that dissolves greases. I mean, that's why you use this on your dishes. That's why you use soap on your hands. You're trying to get the greases and oils off the dishes and your hands. But leaves have a coating of oils on them. And those are natural. The plant actually makes those. And that layer of waxes and oils protects the plant. It reduces the amount of water that's lost through the leaves, and it protects it from insects and pathogens. So if we use any of these products on our plants, we wash that wax off, and now the pests have an easier access to the leaves. And that's why a lot of people use these products, and the next day they look at their plants, and they look just fine, no harm done. And then a week or two weeks or a month later, they get some sort of problem. They don't associate that problem with the fact that they weaken the leaves on their plants. Some of the damage these things do are quite visible. Now let me show you a couple of examples. The first one here are some pepper leaves. I got these off a YouTube video of someone who followed the recipe and made some homemade insecticidal soap and then sprayed their pepper plants. And now look at the damage. You can see the damage on the leaves and the whole plant is starting to die back. Here's another picture of a plant called the rattlebox plant, and it shows tiny little spots on it, and that's due to spraying with homemade insecticidal soap. And you now know that that's really detergent, it's not insecticidal soap. So both of these examples show you the harm you can do to your plants. I hope I've now convinced you to stop following all the advice online for making your own homemade insecticidal soap. It simply doesn't exist, and all those concoctions are harmful to plants. So stop using them. A much better option is to use real insecticidal soap. That'll be soap made with potassium, not sodium. In my next video, I'll show you how to get a hold of some very inexpensive insecticidal soap. A bottle like this will cost you 50 cents. I'll put a link to that video in the top right hand corner as soon as I make it.